Hello guys, welcome to my channel. We are super late with the uh, shopping trip this week. And I apologize, I haven't been uploading any cube, any videos for the last couple of weeks. And the reason is because we all got the flu at the house. We're super, super sick. I was super sick. I hope you can hear me. But today we finally made it to Walgreens and I had a really awesome transaction. I'm super happy with what we did. Let me show you guys what we did. We did three different transactions. It came out to be completely free after everything so let me show you guys what happened and what we did so i had <coughs> a booster of a spend twenty dollars and get five thousand points and then i also had um another booster on my card for seven thousand but i believe that one is not active just yet so I, that's why we didn't get it but i wanted it to get the twenty five dollar uh purchase in case the seven thousand i had no way to check if the seven thousand was already active which is not yet um but i wanted it to get to 25 dollars to be able to see if that one would work rather than just the five the the 20 dollar threshold for this five dollar one or one like this one to work so we did get to 25 the seven thousand didn't work but the five thousand uh we did get so let me show you what we did we got two of the scott toilet papers and the price usually always is $5. That's the regular price. However, on the IBC book, there is a coupon for $1.25 off of um, each one. So there is $1.25 off of each toilet paper and $1.25 off of the paper towels as well. I also had a $0.75 cent printable coupon for, the, for one of the toilet papers. I only had one of the $0.75. Cents. And one of the 75 cents for the uh, paper towels as well. And then we bought some chips. We're doing some, uh, for dinner, we're going to have some uh, hamburgers at home. So we did buy some chips to go with the hamburgers. They are priced at one eighty eight, and it is the cheapest price right now in the stores. It is even cheaper than fries, which fries is like one ninety eight with the mega sale right now. So it's 10 cents cheaper than them. So we went ahead and got it uh, over at Walgreens. And then we also got two of the herbal essence. This is my absolute favorite shampoo. Um, we got the two herbal essence and we had a digital clip. This ones are buy one, get the second one, 50% off. And there is a $6 off digital coupon that you can send to your car on the purchase of two. Now they also have the promotion going on that when you buy two, you get 2,000 points as well. So we went ahead and did that transaction. That transaction came to $25 and some cents. Let me show you here really quick. We did use the IBCs over here for the Scott toilet paper. And it took out no problem. We did use the booster. However, the booster did not gain me the points automatically. So we had a little bit, com not confrontation, but a little bit of argument with the manager um, on Dirty. And let me tell you what happened. So we used the point booster. We got the $0.75 cents of each of the toilet paper and the um, the paper towels. And then we only had one of them for each one, so I didn't get the third one. And then I had the herbal essence for $6. I paid $17.99 out of pocket plus tax, which came to $20.63. Now, um, I did get on the bottom over here, we got 7,000 points. And the reason I got 7,000 points was because we hit beauty. So I got my 5,000 points, and then I got the 2,000 points for the shampoo. So the booster for the 5,000 points did not go through. So I had um, I asked the manager, I said, well, we didn't go through, it didn't work. And so um, he argued with me that the uh, policy had changed recently. So I, st I stood my ground, obviously, because I know it didn't change, and I asked him to add those points. And so he did add them after I talked to him, and I said, you know, I should call the 800 number and make sure, not being rude or anything, just to make sure that I'm not passing wrong information and the policy has not changed, because according to him, I had to meet the $20 threshold over here after my manufacturer coupons, which we know is not true. You have to meet it after uh, IBCs, which I did. I mean, IBC was only $1.25 and $2.50, which uh, $17.99 and six seven seven $17.99 and seven seventy five would put me at around $25 something. I, I can't add right now. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> So I did make the trash hole for $20 because on top of it, I'm only trying to get the $20 at this point, the $20 booster. So we did hit that, that trash hole easily. 
um, they did add it for me. I did call the 800 number. I was right. The policy has not changed yet. So we were completely right on that. So I got 12,000 points. I spent my $20. Remember, my budget is for couponing for this year is $20 a week. So I went ahead and I spent it at Walgreens. However, we got 12,000 points. So with those 12,000 points, I went ahead and did separate transaction. So my separate transaction over here was for the hamburger buns. And we got two of the cans of Nutella. The Nutella is priced at $2.99 right now at Walgreens, which is the cheapest as well from my, my region. The hamburger buns, however, are a little bit more expensive than regular um, store, but I went ahead and got it anyways. So here is the hostess. Uh, I got the two Nutella and the hostess was $2.79. Back, um, I want to say back in October, I got a lot of Nutella over a fries, and they had peelies for $2 off. So I went ahead and used those peelies that I had saved up. And I pay, my total came to five oh eight after my coupons. I pay with five of the points that I had gotten from my previous transaction because I got 12,000 points. So I went ahead and used um, five of them. And then I pay eight cents out of pocket, so eight cents for these products is not bad at all. And then on top of it, I submit the re the receipt already to check out fifty one, is a dollar fifty for each of the Nutella, so I should be getting three dollars on the Nutella back from check out fifty one. So we're gonna get three dollars on that. Now just walking around the store because I wanted it to see if I can find some other items to spend the twelve thousand points. Just to show you guys what you can do for with $20, I came across this um, Well Beginnings Diapers Box. And this one was supposed to be on clearance for, <clears throat> it had a tag for $6.99. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and get it and use 5,000 points and pay the $1.99, the two, the two bucks out of pocket. And that will use another 5,000 points. And I still have 2,000 points and the $3 from the Nutella. I still make pretty good decent purchase. But I went ahead and got it. And let me show you guys. I was super, super excited. Because the price was actually only $1.69. So I paid $1.69 for that item. And actually only $0.69 or $0.86 cents because I redeemed a dollar for, for that. And so I paid $0.86 cents for the box of diapers. Super, super good deal there. Now, when I called the 800 number, what they did... Um, they explained to me, no, you're you're correct. The policy has not changed. We still have the same policy, and you should have gotten the five thousand points. So she said, because of the inconvenience, I will add another five thousand points for you. So I end up getting seventeen thousand points for this purchase, and then I'm getting the three dollars on my Nutella as well. So this is not bad at all. It came out to be free, completely free for me <coughs> with my purchase. Then I end up getting another booster uh, for next time. So I'm super excited. Hope you guys enjoy my purchase this week. We got all of these items completely for free since we're getting the uh, rebate for that as well. And then we got um, great deals over at Walgreens this week. So we're going to use the rest, the remaining of the points. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you guys for um, choosing my videos and being able to look at my videos. Hope I get some good information to you. We'll see you next time. We'll see you. Bye-bye.